Hi guys, Paul Best here at Radio Shop Pickups in South Wales. And in this video, I'm gonna run through my top 10 soldering tips for guitarists. And they're just little tricks and tips that have evolved basically over years of working on loaded pick guards, pickups, and all sorts of wiring things for guitars. I hope you find it useful. If you do, would love it if you hit subscribe. We're gonna run through them from 10 to one, make it a bit like the chart run through. So enjoy the video guys, and let's get started. Tip number 10 is to use vintage cloth hookup wire. This is very classically found in Fender style guitars. It's made by a company called Gavid and it's very easy to work with, easy to push forward and pull back. Brilliant stuff. Number nine, when using that type of wire is to pull some back, tin, and then trim off some excess. And what this does is actually give you some excess cloth which you can then use to push really snugly up to a solder joint later on for a pro finish. Tip number eight is to keep your capacitor legs. Once you've soldered a cap in place, you probably find that you've got quite a bit of leg material left over. And that can be used to do all sorts of soldering jobs, like grounding from one area to another, and it just takes the place of fiddly wires. My tip number seven is to score any metal surfaces that you're about to solder with. And I just use something metal to score in a circular fashion. This helps the solder to stick to the metal surface. And especially on something as heavy as this, like a base plate, you really need to score quite heavily in and then use the highest heat setting on your soldering iron to get the solder to stick. My number six tip really is just to use the right solder. And what I use is 6040 lead tin split for a company called Sinel. just works great. My tip number five is to hold as still as you can when the solder is solidifying. If you were moving around, you're gonna get a cold joint. So just use anything you can. Sometimes it gets a little bit hot on the fingers. So what you can do is rest things up against other things or place them on top of stuff so that it moves as little as possible. My tip number four is to use the hook around. This really helps with the last tip, actually. You can see me here using a wire and I'm soldering to the lug of a pot. And just by putting a little hook on the end of the wire, it'll stop any movement and then you can snip off the excess wire later. Tip number three is to solder the hot first when it comes to braided wire. This is what we call traditional braided wire and is most likely to be seen on Gibson style pickups. And it has a hot inner core and then the ground is the actual braided thing that you see. And instead of soldering the braided bit first, I just solder in the hot core first, say into the leg of the pot, which is where you usually put it. And then that leaves you able to just tuck up a little bit of wire, not too close to the pot connection, but you can get it nice and flat. And then I solder on both sides. We're getting to the top of the list here. And on this one, tip number two is to use gravity. Sometimes we get overdrip and you get solder just sneaking down a certain component. But what you do is you just flip it over, reheat, and then the solder will just fall onto the tip of your iron. It's a really tidy way of undoing what you did. Drum roll, guys, it's my absolute top tip, and it is crab claws. And this is something that evolved without me even knowing that I was doing it. Sometimes when you're soldering, you just feel like you need a third hand. And there is something available called helping hands. But what I like to do for tinning is just put the solder in between my outer fingers and just bend it like that. And that enables me to come along and tin a wire whilst holding a wire. It takes a little bit of doing, but a little bit of practice. You'll find this is a really useful tip that you can use all the time to help your soldering. Hope you found that useful, guys. That's my top 10 tips. I've kind of done a video a bit like this before, actually, but I feel like things have evolved a little bit with my soldering as they do sort of naturally. So I thought I'd revisit it. But there's lots more content on the channel about soldering tips, how to approach certain things. So have a look and hit subscribe and just check through the videos and see if you can find anything useful. We'd also love it if you check out our website, radioshoppickups.com. We're a small team of pickup makers, just myself and Paul Dunn. We make everything by hand, Strat, Tele, humbuckers, P90s, you name it. We'd love it if you check them out and consider us for your next pickup project. See you in the next video.